Hi everyone, once again it's Excelera Tutorials with me Sunita ma'am. In this atrocious pandemic period when all the students are confined into their homes, I have taken up the initiative to prepare these videos with the explanation and study material for the benefit of the children. So if you are watching my video for the first time, don't forget to press the bell icon and subscribe so that you keep getting notifications. You can share, like and even put your comment down in the comment box. This video which I have prepared it is for class 11 students and um, it is the fourth poem in Hornbills and the name of the poem is Childhood which has been composed by Marcus Natton. Now Marcus Natton was a Norwegian but uh, <clears throat> there is no uh, proof about when he was born and when he died. This poem which he has written he has written in his early childhood when he was around about 12 years old. So uh, <clears throat> this poem deals with the loss of innocence. In Bollywood also many songs are there which are related with uh, uh, children. For example, Bacche man ke sache sari jag ki aankh ke tare Ye wo nanhe fool hai jo bhagwan ko lagte pyare So this is where innocence is. So each and every human being passes this period of innocence and in this poem when did the poet lose his innocence he is asking himself the question. So before we start just let us have a look at the word meanings. Seized, come to an end, realize means to be aware or to understand, preached means to teach or to advocate. Producing means to create or give rise to and then we have infant which means a newborn child. So these are the word meanings. Then we see the rhyme scheme here. The, only the first stanza has the rhyme scheme that is A, B, B, C, C, D. Other than this no stanzas have the rhyme scheme. So uh, let us start with the explanation. The first stanza we will start and um, this first stanza it is related with rationalism okay the stanzas are divided the first stanza is related with rationalism the second stanza is rate, uh, related with hypocrisy the third is related with individuality and the last is giving a um, sad tone um, regret a nostalgic tone to the lines so uh, we come back to the first stanza. The first stanza which is dealing with uh, rationalism. Rationalism means the power of reasoning, thinking, analyzing, okay, clearing the doubts. <clears throat> so this is what this stanza is about. So when did my childhood go? This is the question which the poet is asking himself that when it went. Was it the day I ceased to be 11? So he is thinking asking himself that was it that day when I became I passed the age of 11 when I became 12 is it that time when I lost my childhood was it the time I realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography so this is a long a wrong you know impression which is put in the uh, mind of the children if you do good you will go to heaven if you do bad you will go to hell so heaven and hell when he started realizing asking himself the question he started searching for um, you know hell and heaven in the atlases in the geography books and he couldn't find it because there is no such place as heaven or hell and therefore could not be because he now he realized that is, there is no such place as heaven and hell. So all the realization he is talking about that and he is saying was that the day I lost my childhood. So this entire stanza here it is talking about rationalism means the power to think to analyze and to clear the doubts. And if we see the stanza you will see in your books go 11 heaven 
geography b and d so here it is a then it is b b c c and d this is the rhyme scheme and it is only in the first stanza so now let's move on to the second stanza uh, in this stanza the poet is talking about hypocrisy of the adults he he is talking about what they say and what they do their actions do not match which uh, with their words so he has uh, mentioned all this in this stanza when did my childhood go again he is asking himself the same question that when did i lose my innocence was it the time i realized that adults were not all they seem to be now he started observing he started analyzing thinking and clearing his doubts and he started realizing that adults they say something and they do something else so he has understood that adults do not practice what they preach okay so that is what he is talking about they talk of love and preach of love but did not act so lovingly so all what they talk of love such a lot of love they uh, tell children also to follow it but when it comes to their turn they forget all about it was that the day was that the day when he realized that adults they preach and they practice something else so this is why this stanza is related with hypocrisy the double face of adults now this is a third stanza and this stanza the poet is talking about individuality individual means now he has his own thoughts his own mind his own actions whatever he wants he can do because now he is away from restrictions when did my childhood go again the same question is being asked by him he is asking himself then when did i lose my innocence was it when i found my mind was really mind when i started thinking and uh, taking my own decisions when i did not take the help of elders whatever thoughts came into my mind i implemented them on my own he is saying that time that was it that time when i lost my childhood to use whichever way i choose whichever way i chose i can use it i can do whatever i want i don't need the help of others i don't need the help of adults whatever is i think i can do i will do it on my own producing thoughts that were not those of others but my own and mine alone so all my thoughts implementing my thoughts acting according to what i wish doing what i wish now these are all the things because now he has become an individual and he is the master of his mind he is uh, got relief from the restrictions and um, you know gained his own confidence so this is what is there in this stanza and was that the day again is the same line is coming here that was that the day when i realized that now i am the master of my mind now i can do whatever i please is that the day i lost my innocence and my childhood okay now the last stanza this is figurative or metaphorical okay it is a regret a lament on the loss of childhood okay the now the poet is feeling nostalgic and he has written this line okay the mental state is of puzzlement okay and the change of thoughts again now in the above three stanzas if we have seen if you see in your books also it is when did my childhood go in the second again it's when did my childhood go in the third again it's when did my childhood go but in the fourth stanza if you see here that where now he is in a puzzle he is um, baffled that where did it go now he wants to find out that where did my innocence go from where can i get back my innocence so this is what he has um, spoken about in this stanza that uh, in the process of growth okay innocence disappears because in later on in life we have to face a lot of challenges and a lot of ups and downs in life so your the innocence is gone 
सो नाउ ही इज आस्किंग हिम सेल्फ द क्वेश्चन दैट वेर डिड माई चाइल्ड हुड गो कहाँ गया वेर डिड माई चाइल्ड हुड गो इट वेंट टू सम फॉट इन प्लेस ओके हेयर द फीलिंग ऑफ नोस्टैलजिया द फीलिंग ऑफ लेमेंट ओके रिग्रेट दैट इट हैज गॉन टू सम फॉट इन प्लेस childhood because time and tide wait for none once childhood goes it doesn't come back there is no retake there is no action replay in life so life childhood does not come back once it goes away so to satisfy himself he is saying that's hidden in an infant's face that's all i know so he is saying he is talking about innocence okay because it is only in the innocent uh, uh, infant's face where we can see that innocence so that is what he is saying that my childhood was there in that innocent face but now with the passage of time everything has changed i have become big i have started realizing i have started thinking for myself and this is the reason why that my childhood is gone and once it's gone it never comes back so this is the regret of the poet okay the mental state is of puzzlement due to the sudden change of thought because now he wants to get back that childhood which is not possible okay so before we wind up let's have a look at the poetic devices the poetic device the first device is a refrain i think we all know what is a refrain when words are used again and again or lines are used again and again so here the lines which are used again and again are when did my childhood go and the next one is was that the day i think i forgot to write it there was that the day so that is a refrain when words or when uh, lines are repeated again and again in the stanzas then here we have the antithesis means the opposite hell and heaven okay hell means bad and heaven means good so that is the antithesis opposite words are used together then the alliteration we have the time tt then we have my mind mm whichever and way w w thoughts that tt then the next one we have inversion inversion is when the order of the subject verb order is in the reverse for example here to use whichever way i choose so these are the poetic devices so that's the end i hope uh, it was clear to you all and uh, keep watching the video and please watch the video till the end and if you haven't subscribed please press the bell icon and subscribe it gives us more uh, energy it gives us more inspiration to work better and better so thanks then bye till then meet again in the next video bye